Good afternoon and thank you for coming to our media conference. We're here to announce the uh, filing of the uh, cold case. Um, the criminal case that we have filed um, is one count of murder in the first degree against defendant James P. Harris. Mr. Harris is presently housed in the federal prison in Texarkana, Texas on an unrelated case to this. But Mr. Harris is charged with uh, a premeditated murder in the first degree, an off-grid person felony for the uh, murder of James E. Garrity. This case originally began out of the city of Topeka as a missing persons case. Uh, what we ended up doing was investigating that and running that to ground, at which point in time the trail pretty much ran cold. Uh, subsequent to that, the Osage County Sheriff's Office, and as well as other law enforcement partners in Osage County, uh, ran their investigation and had picked up with it when they found a body part down in Osage County that was subsequently matched by DNA to uh, our particular victim. Now, what, the, what we're going to do is, <clears throat> is because of the fact that the body was located in Osage County, and venue is presumptive in the county where the body was located, um, the case was filed in Osage County. Uh, the reason for that is to remove a venue dispute out of, uh, out of the court proceedings. Additionally, um, because of the vast majority of <clears throat> witnesses and law enforcement resources on this particular case will be arriving out of Shawnee County and to assist our law enforcement partner to the uh, south that we have a great professional working relationship with, uh, with the blessing of the Osage County Attorney Brendan Jones, yeah. the Shawnee County District Attorney's Office is mm -hmm. going to cooperatively um, support and help the Osage County Attorney's Office in the prosecution of this matter, utilizing our victim witness resources and our ability to get people down into Linden to be able to engage in a successful prosecution.